take the eighth triangular number and add eight. What is commonly bought in multi-packs containing this many items? Take the eighth triangular number and add eight. This is commonly bought in multi-packs containing this many items. Can we start just with the basic definition of what a triangular <laughs> yeah, number yeah, yeah, is? Yeah, that. if that's part, if you know that, Tom, that would be handy. Yeah, yeah. thank you, Tom. <laughs> if any of us know that, I feel like the question is going to be easy to solve. My guess is that triangular number is like on the first line is one, and then you have on the next line two, three. So you have one plus two plus uh, three. So that would be. Uh, Six. That took far too long. And then on the next line, you have four plus five plus six. So that's going to be another 15. That would be 21. But I'm not going to be able to do the rest of that calculation in my head. Even if that is the right definition of a triangular number, I'm not sure it is. But it, it, from that explanation, you're getting to multiple numbers? Are there, are there just going to be one number there? Or is this something that we buy that comes in many different sizes? I feel like to, to get the answer to this, we don't need to know what a triangular number is. We just need to know something that is sold in a triangular shape or a pyramidal shape or something yeah. like that, where, where you buy a lot of them at once. It's not that type of shape, except in terms of patterns. If I go down to the supermarket, I'm buying toilet paper. You can either buy normally six, nine, or 12. Like mm. it kind of goes up in these multiples of three. Mm. I'm sorry to start to start literally in the toilet, but we can go up from here. <laughs> That's good. That's good. But so you you're thinking three is because you heard triangular number, but there was a num another number in the clue. Take the eighth triangular number and add eight. What is commonly bought in multi packs containing this many items? Who buys a multi pack with like? Because the eighth triangular number's got to be fairly big, right? Like who's Ooh, buying? Yeah multi-packs of that many things. Americans at Costco. Okay, what if, it's, what if a triangular number is just like one plus two and then one plus two plus three? So you're looking for one plus two plus three plus four plus five, six, six seven, seven, eight, which would be nine times four, which would be 36, I think. If the eighth triangular number is 36, which sounds like a vaguely reasonable number, you add eight to that, you get 44. You're looking for something that's, that's in multi-packs of 44. If I've got my maths right. Oh, maths, plural. That is, of all of the Britishisms, that one is the most insane. Oh, Adam, I'm come sorry. on. I'm sorry. Come on. Just let it you go, can't Adam. Let it go. It makes no sense. <laughs> Why would you put an S at the end of a TH? It's unpronounceable. It makes Because it's short for mathematics. Because it's mathematics. Enough. It's mathematics. It's plural. It's where the S on the end of Lego went. It's fine. That is a very logical approach of you, Tom, because I'm sitting here just thinking, what are some products that I buy in random quantities? <laughs> right. like, a, like a ream of paper has 512 yeah. sheets. Is that a triangular number? Is it 44, Adam? Am I right with 44? Yes, you are correct. But I'm not sure how much that number is going to help you without because yeah. you're you're looking <laughs> you're looking for for you're using your hard skills i think you need to use your soft skills like there's cultural clues in here as well one being the name of the person who asked the question this question sent by elad e l a d volpert why would you add 8 why, why is there 8 extra i think it's an there's an issue of cultural competency here so let's see if you're willing to divulge it Let's go around the, the table and say, what do you celebrate <laughs> around winter solstice? Christmas, so yeah. Uh, Christmas? Not Christmas. But it could also be Hanukkah. It could also be... Um, it sure could be. Is it Hanukkah candles? It is, as you said, Tom, Hanukkah candles. Wow. Because you like one on the first day, yes. two on the second day, yes. ah. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a menorah? Is it a menorah? Or, you, or is it just the candles that you're buying? Quoth Elad, uh, the menorah used during eight-day Jewish festival of Hanukkah has room to hold nine candles. One candle is lit on the first night, along with the central shamash, or helper candle. Then an extra candle is added on subsequent nights, again with the shamash present. If you were to use a new candle each time, you would need one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus seven plus eight candles plus eight for the shamash, which equals 44. Boxes containing 44 candles are readily available to buy. Some manufacturers include a 45th candle as a spare. Wow. One of my friends has a menorah shaped like a brontosaurus, and it's called a menorosaurus. 